Reporting for Cyclones TV, I'm Nick Brunker here at U.S. Bank Arena again for another night of hockey. It's going to be the Cyclones and the Kalamazoo Wings here in just a couple of hours. More about that matchup in just a couple of moments. But first, we look back at last night, an impressive 4 to nothing win, highlighted by the goaltender, Rob Medor, who made 24 saves to earn his seventh professional shutout. And it certainly gave the Cyclones a big burst as they were able to put together their best defensive showing as well, not to mention the goaltending as we talked about. That was uh, all around one of their best efforts. And as a result, they pulled into a tie for fourth place in the North Division. And for Rob Bedore, after a few rough outings, he was very excited to watch his team, including himself, put it all together in the same night. Obviously, we weren't putting up the stats that we wanted on the penalty kill, and, and that's a huge part of winning, is, is just making sure the other team's not scoring when they're on the uh, man advantage. And I think guys um, really stepped it up. They're uh, blocking a lot of shots and clearing lanes and making uh, you know mine and Sam's job a little bit easier and you know showing up. One of the other stars from last night's game was forward Josh Shalla, who picked up a two-goal performance en route to a three-point night. And for the Cyclones, that top line of Shalla, Byron Fraze, and Zach Budish has really clicked. And he talked about the chemistry with us after the game. We've been to, me, him, and Budish been aligned for the last two years now. And, you know, uh, that much time together, you got to learn how the other guys play. And, you know, we really like playing with each other, and we can find each other, and our games complement complement each other well. And it's, it's a lot of fun playing with them. The Cyclones trying to capitalize on a Kalamazoo club that's had some struggles of late. The Wings have lost four consecutive games and are trying to right the ship here in Cincinnati. The Cyclones, conversely, are trying to build off of the momentum that they gained last night in that 4 nothing win over Evansville. And certainly it's going to take an inspired effort from Matt McDonald's team to continue building defensively and trying to limit the opportunities that this talented offensive team from Kalamazoo possesses every time these two clubs match up. And they will here in just a couple of hours. It brings us to tonight's Donato's Pizza, players to watch. And for the Cyclones, Loans. you got to keep your eye on the man we talked about earlier, number 20, Josh Shalla, who now leads the club in goals with seven after his two goal showing last night and is second on the team overall with 10 points. And on the other side of the ice, their rookie forward Curtis Ball is always a dangerous weapon. He's got four goals and eight assists and after a recent stint in the American Hockey League is trying to get back into the swing of things down here. On the goaltending side, it will be Rob Medor again as if there was any surprise after his 24 save shutout on Friday. His record now stands at 3-2-0-2. A goals against coming in of 294. For the Wings, Joel Martin's going to go back between the pipes trying to snap a four-game losing skid. His record now stands at 5-4, 1-1, one, and his goals against after last night's loss has dipped to 294. We'll be on the air coming at you on the Cyclones Radio Network beginning at 710. It is the 25th anniversary of The Simpsons. All fans in attendance tonight are going to receive a coupon for a free donut courtesy of Buskin. In case you can't be with us in person, we invite you to join us, of course, on the radio side or on ECHL TV. I'm Nick Brunker, and this is Cyclones TV.